Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. So the last time we found the false monarch and we actually defeated him. And now we're going to go turn in the bounty but also a lore book. Because I do believe I picked one up. There we are. <coughs> a study of magic. Magic is uncommon and few bugs are able to use it. Some bees theorize that crystal exposure can grant magic powers but testing yearns no fruit. A legendary wizard that lived in these lands used to experiment with crystals to learn their magic properties. But he suddenly disappeared, and all knowledge of how crystals relate to magic disappeared with him. Rumors have said that he might be living in the far grasslands, but no traces of him have been located. Well, I know where he's at. All you had to do was dig under a log as soon as you come out of the ant tunnel. I mean, come on, explorers. Are we, are we the only competent ones around here, huh? I mean, I guess the other ones are like Moth Eva and stuff. My cat just did the weird thing. He has, he has like one of those little tunnels set up and he just did the thing where he like dives into it like a jackass for no reason. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to come over here to take a little nap because we are hurt from our fight with the false monarch, so. Jeez, this cat. All right, so. Other things that I wanted to do this episode. I would like to find out about the seedling hunt because I do believe I've seen most type of seedlings at this point. And I wanted to check in on this because we need a the ultimate tanginess and the ultimate sweet. I don't know what the ultimate sweet is though yet. I guess it would be the nutty cake maybe? I mean, we can at least go talk to the character and maybe he'll give us a hint. Possibly, if we're lucky. So let's see if we can talk to Fry and see what he has to say. Hey, 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 you took my, you lot took my, or, oh wait. Hey, 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 you lot took my request, right? All right, let's get to the chase. I had an idea for the ultimate dish, combining the most sweet thing with the most tangy feeling. It will surely be something out of this world. I need two dishes not found anywhere else, which together, contain these qualities. Once you have found them, bring them back to me. The reward will be well worth it. Okay, I know exactly what I need to make, actually, and I have both of those items already in my inventory. Or, actually, not in my inventory, but... So, I feel like the solution to this quest was kind of... spoiled by the fact that you can't do this quest until you complete the crispy cooking quest and the cut cooking quest, because... I'm assuming that the solution is to give them the tangy carpaccio and a crispy donut. We're here for the request. Yeah. You actually did it, I'm impressed. Those ingredients are perfect for the ultimate dish. Let's get right into it. Sorry, he, he switched back to his default voice for one point, but it's fine. He's back to normal now. <clears throat> so this proved to be way easier than I thought. Ahaha, ah, here it is, the ultimate dish. Queen's Dinner. Fry's Masterpiece. A dinner fit for royalty. Restores 15 HP to the party, 15 TP, and heals any status effects. This is something only I can cook. Just bring these ingredients back here and I will make as many as you can eat. Thank you very much. Okay, so... That's... Besides the dark cherry cooking things, which I assume are better... This is, hands down, probably the best cooking thing in the game. I wish it didn't require so many damn steps, because you have to cook the honey to make glazed honey, then you have to cook the flour and the glazed honey to get a crispy donut, and then you have to get a tangy berry, take that to cut, and like... It's a lot of steps. I wanna cook with two. Uh, no, I do not wanna cook with that. I don't even know what would happen if I did that. Tangy carpaccio and the crispy donut. There we go. I almost don't like the fact that, um... It heals 15 HP and TP. Because at times, I would just want to heal the HP, not the TP. So, it'd make a interesting dilemma there if I'm like, well, I'm not going to get all the TP out of it, but I don't have another healing item. So, if we go into any hard bosses, I'll probably bring the t uh, Tangy Carpaccio as well as that. So, that is that quest taken care of. So what next? That went a little bit faster than I was expecting, to be completely honest. Where's this character? 
Oh, yeah, you want, uh, what was it, a num dart with flower? So, let's go ahead and turn that in as well. And we can also talk to some of the characters that are in, um, that specific zone. So, I just realized, while I was here in Defiant Root, I think we can get this book now. Yeah, we can just fly over here with V, and I'm guessing... Oh no, this just gives us Fortify? We least Allies Defense. Never mind. I thought there would be like a door back here that allowed me to get in there to that book, but no, there was just a hidden metal. We can't like dig under it or anything, right? No, we can't dig up here. So there must just be some way to open that door at some point, which is weird because it's not a locked door that we get a key for. So I can only imagine an NPC must open it. All right, here we are. I went ahead and made the item. I didn't show it because it was already something we knew about, drowsy cakes. We just know how to make it now, so it's a thumbnail dart with flour, which makes sense, I suppose. So this is what you wanted. Did you bake the sweets? Yeah, yeah, yes. But wait, what if I eat one of those and oversleep? Look, it's what you wanted. You can't just ask for more stuff in the same job. But I cannot miss work. Wait, I know. I heard there's a way to make some shocking candy with electric stuff and flour. Uh, are you sure that's safe to consume? If I eat both this cake and the shocking thing, maybe. I'll be able to sleep for one second and be shocked awake right after. That doesn't make any sense. We'll, we'll see what we can do about that. Please wait a little more. Seriously? Okay, something shocking and flour. Something shocking and flour. Okay, well... If I remember correctly, the place with a bunch of shocking things is at the Bee Kingdom. Is there an item I can think of that numbs you, though? Not right off the top of my head. I think there's a berry in the Bee Kingdom that does it, so we're gonna head over to the Bee Kingdom and investigate that. So, while I was in the Bee Kingdom, I realized, uh, this particular character told us to come back once we played around with the chomper a bit. Taking care of that chomper, we can't afford having to find another one. Don't need to say it twice, we'll protect her with all we've got. Okay, I thought there would maybe be an update, but doesn't seem like there is. I mean, we've got them a pretty fair amount of combat experience at this point, but guess it wasn't enough. So this is the shop that I wanted to go to, the one over here in the honey factory. Because it seems like it makes the most sense to me. Because I do recall... Yeah, I think it's that berry on the right. Shock berry. Ah, uh, but I don't have the berries for it. I didn't even think about not having the money. Alright, well, be right back. Alright, I decided that I was tired of never having money. Uh, I keep putting it in the bank because I'm like, well, I wanted to, you know, accrue interest, but... At the same time, not having money is more annoying because I always have to run back, so I've decided I'll just always keep 100 berries on me. Because I don't really flee from battle that much, so there's not a massive uh, amount of money being lost. So, I thought that would be what we would do as a new rule, because while the Ant Compass does make these walks back much, much, much faster, it's still pretty annoying. So, the reason I'm staying in the Bee Kingdom instead of just teleporting out is I want to talk to this character because they want the blackest ink possible. You'll take my request, V. Yep, they'll make a big deal out of it, okay? Alright, I'm looking for the blackest, darkest of all paints. The edgiest of all paints. I needed to complete my masterpiece to challenge Jean's reign as the best artist of the hive. Sure you can handle that? I mean, I haven't even got my sister's paint yet, and she wanted a pretty simple color. <laughs> A job's a job, where can I find it? Your soul is a dark gray, but anyways, I've heard it's with someone in the Termite City. He hates being around in the open, a lover of the darkness. So cool. Sounds like you two would get along pretty well. Don't speak nonsense, I simply admire him. I would meet him myself were it not so far. Get it done, V. The pay's good. Better be. It really is far away. Yeah, let's not even mention our ability to teleport, V. Okay, so now we need to go somewhere. I can't dig from this area. I can't dig from this area, but if I remember correctly, I can dig out from the factory. 
Which is funny, because it makes sense why you can't dig out of the hive, because you just fall through the sky and die since you're in a giant, giant tree, correct? But, if I go over here... Yep, this works. <laughs> that must be like a little tiny oversight. Or there's, or their logic is, well, you're digging through the tree at that point, so... Alright, so now we just need to go over here to fry. And get him to fry us up. Oh wait, we need flour. Okay, so never mind. To the Bee Kingdom. I'll see you at Crispy. Boy, this is going to be a weird episode, what with all the cuts and stuff because of how much ingredients we have to go grab. Cook with two. A shock berry? No. I pressed A too quickly. A bag of flour and a shock berry. Yup. Huff. Okay, here it goes. Wish me luck. You can do it, Crispy, I believe. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Getting so much better. Shock candy. And now... So, now we just head back to the Termite Kingdom. And give this to our... Salary man that's trying to drug themselves up. So they can sleep for exactly one second? I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound healthy to me, you know? Like, y you need your sleep. Don't, don't go through this much trouble for your work. They don't deserve your love that much. Or at all in some cases. Do you have the shocking thing? Yeah. Ah, oh, that looks good. I'll try this right before when I go to bed. So, will you give us the reward or not? Yes, thanks. It's not much, but it might help you. That was it. Hope my work efficiency improves after this. Maybe I will finally get that promotion. Heavens, we hope they don't promote you into more work. I'm so worried. That was it. I could buy that at the regular bad shop. I'll have you know. Oh well. That was a long quest to get that. Although, I, I guess the main point of it is you find out those recipes. So... Eh. So, what else we got? So, there's this. You're in the Termite City. You're in search of something. Tired of these striders, yeah. Did you stop by my clinic in Defiant Root? Oh, I was actually there and I forgot about that one. My dumb brother left without taking his lunch. Okay, so there's quite a few things for us to check up on here. I forgot about these drinks and everything. And the squash. I don't really think we need another squash though, currently. So let's just see if we can find these characters that have these quests. Nothing in here, it seems. Except that one weird character that's everywhere at all times. Maybe it's maybe it's like the Nurse uh, Joy slash uh, Officer Jenny syndrome where there's like a ton of them. So I think this is the character that has the paint. Uh, excuse us. We heard you have the blackest paint. We're interested in that. I have no business with you. Scram. You know it's better for you. Eep. But we, we need the paint. Oh, are you gonna fight me, please? Uh, let's leave him alone, team. We need the paint, Cabo. I know, but it doesn't seem like we can get it now. Let's ask Archia what to do and come back later. So, that's the person that we actually got the quest from, I believe, so... <coughs> well, what to follow up on now? So we got that one. You're in the Fiat route. You're here. And I might actually have the things that you need. I don't think you're in this place, though. I think there's, like, another multiple floor building that, um, that character's hiding out in. There's another path to the right over here, isn't there? Let's take this to go faster. Yeah, there's this building right here that goes up multiple floors. And you're the character that sells all the bombs, weirdly enough. Alright, up the elevator we go. I think it's the fifth floor? Yeah, I think they're in the room right to the left over there. Yeah, there you are. Hello, you're the champions from the Ant Kingdom, aren't you? And you're the seedling guy, right? You're in super luck. We've been fighting seedlings for ages. Mm-hmm. Seedlings have so many variations, too many for me to research on my busy schedule. 
So I want you to gather some data on their behaviors for me. Don't worry though, it's easy. Just defeat them in battle and your experiences should write themselves. I'd like to have data of 50 seedling individuals, any species of them will do. Once you have that, talk to me and I will give you a reward. Sounds simple enough. Let's go trample them. 50. So much violence. I wonder if it counts if we've already done that. Oh, already done? Excellent. This seems to be enough. Okay, cool. So it does it does count for the ones you've already done. This seems to be enough data for me to study the seedlings. Thank you. Take this as a token of my appreciation. I made it during my spare time. I'm sure it will be very helpful. Seedling affinity. Increases the chance of finding special things. I guess that means golden seedlings. <laughs> I know these I knew these seedlings would be good for something someday. Once again, thank you. So yeah, that probably increases your chance of finding the golden ones. If I had to imagine. I wonder if you can actually run into them fighting any seedling, or if it's just specifically the ones at the seedling king. If I had to guess, it's any seedling now. Alright. These are quests. I'm I'm waiting on all the ones that take place at Metal Lake. Yeah, there's Archia. Okay, I need to meet you at the Colosseum. Oh yeah, and then there's the quest with Arya. That's in the Golden Settlement that I haven't followed up on yet. Alright. So, off to the Colosseum. You're new. I think. Hmm, Bagaria should be the perfect place to expand my business. Oh, you're the winners of the Colosseum, right? So you'll take us to Bagaria? Let's get going. Time is money. I just realized this is not the way to the Colosseum. What am I doing? Yeah, we gotta go back this way. But hey, at least we can ride the conveyor belt to get there slightly faster. Technology. And yeah, I guess we have to follow up on the thing with the pier soon. Ah, you're the Ant Kingdom's explorers that beat the Colosseum. Heh <laughs> yes, we saw your request. Your brother left without lunch? Mm-hmm. He's always rushing, and then faints from exhaustion in the wilderness. I can't deliver today, it's too busy. I'll pay a pretty berry if you take this to him. Alrighty, where's his post? Hmm. Today he was supposed to patrol around the broken bridges in the Forsaken Lands. Just walk west from where the weevils hang around. He should have made it before fainting. He's strong, but please hurry. This smells pretty good. Wow. He's annoying, but I do love him. It's my super nutritious survival box. Leave it to us. Alright, well, we can take a quick teleport out of here. Oh yeah, I also never went and turned in the Crystal Crown to Doppel. Depending on how long this takes, we might do that at the end of the video. Alright, so... They said just west of where the weevils hang out, which I assume is the area right beside here. I was thinking of a different area with broken bridges, but that the way she's telling me to go might actually lead to that area. So we'll just have to see. Because what I'm thinking this place leads me to is... Yeah. I think if I go left over here, this takes me to the... Yeah, there you are. Oh, so hungry. There you go. Oh, is that? Munch, munch. Oh, thank you. That saved me. So my brother sent you here, huh? When I get to work, I get so pumped and forget to eat. Here, take this as thanks for saving me. Equip that ally restores 2 HP every two turns. That's pretty good. Well, time to finish my patrol and head back home. See you out there. Alright, quest complete. So what do we actually... We're getting... We're getting through these quests pretty quickly. Still searching for your golden paradise. And then there's Esau. I guess we can go check up on the Esau. And then there's this quest with Arya. That I feel like I need to go follow up on as well. Let's return to the ant mines first, though. And let's go over here and check on Esau. I'll see what item they need. Maybe I already have it. It'd be nice if that were the case. I am disappointed I couldn't get that lost book there. I mean, I'm glad I got the Fortify Medal, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping I was going to get into that room so I could grab that as well. I hope I haven't missed Lost Books anywhere either. That would be sad. Because I really would like to collect all of those things at least. Oh wait, Esau's not over here. They're to the right. 
this is just kind of that's that's kind of like the hub where all of the characters are so i always just default to going to that location but no you're right here dr Esal, doing well why yes that permit you saw my request yep we'd like to hear more about your miracle cure you see, I've been studying Bagaria's flora and their properties for many moons now. I found a combination that should heal any illness. Whoa, that's a berry maker right there. Um, no. My hope is to be able to offer cheap treatment. What? Wow, we need we need more pharmaceutical companies like you in the world, Esau. You are a noble soul. I will gladly lend you my strength. Heh <laughs> thanks. We're assuming the missing ingredient's not going to be easy to get. Have you all heard of Snakemouth Den? Yes, we're very familiar with its depths. Excellent. Although the white Sophie metal I seek actually grows over the den itself, I hear. I haven't found a way to reach that high place. So we should try to get really high up? Leave it to us. With V's flight, there's nowhere we can't reach. I'll be counting on you. Don't get hurt. Okay, so I feel like that was a hint at what we actually have to do to get to that location because my first my first thought was how in the world are we going to fly to the top of snake mouth den also wow that area is getting a lot of mileage we've been there like three times at this point snake mouth den just doesn't quit so i wanted to come back here so we could go to the shady place and turn this into dobble if we're going to head the snake mouth den we might as well stop back here first so, let me in. Doppel, I got you a crystal crown. I have that crystal. It's a genuine deal. Last stand, increase an ally's defense by two and low on HP. And 50 berries. I mean, that's a pretty good metal. I'm still not crazy about it, though. Five and three. Eh. I mean, that would be a nice replacement for V's poison needles to put on Kabu, but then that would give... That, that would put even more of a burden on Kabu. And they have to directly touch Kabu, which a lot of bosses don't seem to do, I guess. So now we are off to Snake Mouth Den. Hopefully we can actually do this now. Or should I cook up some food? We have three leaf omelets, but we have, like, no ways to heal. Hmm. Actually, this video's kind of going on already. Is there one more quick thing we could do somewhere else that I could follow up on right now? Because all I'm about to do is just cook a bunch. In search of something... No, I don't really think there's anything for us to follow up on. This might just have to be a sort of short episode. Ah, I'm really worried about how short it'll be, though, because I've cut out so much. All right. Well, let me just let me just cook up a few things. All right. So I just had to run from a battle that I got in there because apparently I don't have bug me not on. So let's go ahead and adjust our setup here, and I'll explain why I'm talking again in just a second. So I like to have the meditation and stuff. Ooh, not on you on Leif. And I like to have strong start on Leif. Poison needles can stay. Bug me not needs to go on. Honestly, oh yeah, triumph buzz and victory buzz. I don't really know what to put on for the last thing though. Hmm. Favorite one? We'll just put Leaf Cloak on somebody. Oh wait, no, HP core. Yeah, definitely that one. That's only two. That's pretty good. All right, so the reason I decided to show this is because yeah, there's a berry spot here. And it is actually a berry. So we can go back and get another good um, item from over there. Oh wait, I just realized I came over here. This isn't, this is, <laughs> I came the wrong way to get the snake mouth thin. Oh geez. Alright, 
here we are back over here at snake mouth den i think we're gonna go ahead and hit up this save point thank you kindly so we have to find out how to get on top of it i imagine we have to do that from the inside so i just we're gonna go around here for a second see what we can find because with, with these flight ability we should be able to do some pretty crazy things I don't think it has anything to do with being able to go over here, no. That's where I got that crystal berry that I got in, uh, I believe the last episode. I mentioned getting a crystal berry from in here. That's where it was hiding. I definitely see some platforms up here. I just don't really know how to get to them yet. And there's definitely some openings in the ceilings and in the ceiling and such. Hmm. Do we have to go in here? Cause this just leads to the lab. I don't remember knowing of or seeing a way to get to the top from in here. Let's just investigate a bit, see if maybe we can find out something. Cause when they say Snake Mouth Den, I assume they don't mean this part, but it could be, in all honesty. And it takes quite a bit to get across there. Okay, and this we just have to dig under. This seems like so far into Snake Mouth Den that I don't feel like you could actually get on top from here. Yeah, I don't know. And re-exploring this old area, this entire old area, off of a hunch, seems like kind of a waste. Hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll explore it if I go back here and can't absolutely find a path forward over here. But I'm going to investigate this area that's just basic Snake Mouth Den before I go exploring that entire giant zone. That seems like it makes sense to me, so... <clears throat> of course, Leif did have the comment about, oh yeah, I know all about Snake Mouth Den. So, hmm... Let's try dropping down here first, though. I don't see how this would get us to the top, considering we're going down even further, but... Since this is a smaller area, I would like to cross this one off the list before we try delving into the giant lab. Hmm. There is that area back there. Get out of here, zombie ant. Let's see. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna walk around off screen for this, maybe. Well, there's. I wonder if I can get up on top of those somehow. Hmm. Yeah, let me let me look around for a second. If I find something, I'll show it. If I don't, we've we've seen Snake Mouth Den multiple times by this point, so. Um, I just like to point out this. What is what is going on here with the zombie ant? It's like throwing up dust, but when I get near it, it disappears. Is that a glitch, or is that some kind of, like... I don't know. That's very confusing. It just appears and disappears. What an, what an odd thing. I don't know what the deal with that is. Huh. I don't recall being in this room in quite a while, or if I've ever been in this room. But that leads to the outside, so... Huh. Could I even have gotten over here without the ability to fly? Yeah, I could. Is this maybe what I was supposed to go to? It'd be nice if I actually found the area. Uh... Yeah, this... Okay, no, that's why I don't remember it, because we haven't been here in forever. Hmm. Doesn't really seem like we can do anything in here, though. It said it grows at the top. I really thought that was going to be it, because it looked like it led outside. Doesn't actually seem like there's any way to get out of here now, though. Like, this, this clearly has sunlight coming from outside, but I don't really see any way to get out of this room. And I'm guessing my ice doesn't work on the water. No. Hmm. Alright, well... Guess we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. I'll probably continue my hunt 
through Snake Mouth Den off screen, just to see if I can maybe find out what it, like, where I'm supposed to be heading. And when I find something, I, I basically just won't save, and then I'll come back and I'll have a better idea when we get into the next episode, so I'm not just wandering around like a fool. Alright, regardless, I hope you have enjoyed this very weirdly edited episode with me just cutting between multiple places to do a bunch of side quests, but regardless, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.